Hello everyone, welcome to my video. My name is Aaron and I'll be showing you how to Ethernet tether your Wi-Fi pineapple with Windows. So let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing you want to do is plug in your Wi-Fi pineapple to the power source and your Ethernet cable going to the PoE LAN port on your Wi-Fi pineapple mark 4. And then you'll want to go to the uh, network settings down here, network, open the network and sharing center, change the adapter settings, and then what you want to uh, look for is if you're, in my case, to tether, I'm using a wireless card on my desktop. If you're, in most cases, people will be using it from a laptop. So your wireless is your main source of internet connection, and then your ethernet is going to the Wi-Fi pineapple providing a network for that as well. So let's go ahead and I'll show you the source for my wireless where the incoming internet connection is coming from. So I go into my wireless network connection properties and then I'll go to make sure that I'm getting a automatic IP address okay, from DHCP and then of course from DNS as well as automatically. Should not, nothing should be changed in there. Go to sharing and make sure you check both boxes and then point it to the uh, the connection that you're going to be using from. So in my case local area connection which is right here is going to be where my Wi-Fi pineapple will be going connecting to okay, from my computer to the Wi-Fi pineapple. Once you have all that hit OK and then go to your local area connection where your Ethernet's going from your PC or laptop to your Wi-Fi pineapple and then what you'll need to do here is uh, change your uh, TCP IP version 4 IP address and then make sure you change it to the following 172.16.42.42 okay subnet mask 255.255.255.0 or triple 255.0 and then your DNS is going to be pointing to Google servers 8.8.8.8 okay and then you're going to make sure you don't share anything on this okay because this is just the network for the pineapple hit close and then once you have this the network share uh, network connections changed you you want to give it uh, a second for it to um, to make sure that it gets a connection and that it refreshes its uh, network configuration. Uh, go to the start menu and look for your command prompt and then from command prompt you want to ping nonstop tac t is what I like to use 192.1 sorry about that sorry that's the wrong IP address 172.1642.1 172.16.42.1 is your Wi-Fi pineapple so we need to make sure we have a connectivity press enter and as you can see I can get a reply from the Wi-Fi pineapple just fine I'm going to cancel that and close out and I'm going to open my web browser now depending if you're a new user and you just bought your Wi-Fi pineapple there's different ways to log into the Wi-Fi Pineapple now because of the different firmwares upgrades. So, if you just bought one, you may be logging into the Pineapple this way. 172.16.42.1 forward slash Pineapple. Okay, mine will not work that way because I already updated to the the, uh, the latest firmware, which is 2.8 right now. I'm going to log in by using colon port 1471 forward slash index dot php press enter you'll be graded to a authentication required for username and password put in root your password's going to be pineapples are yummy press enter and you'll be graded uh, graded to the interface of the wi-fi pineapple now, uh, to make sure you have an internet connection with your Wi-Fi pineapple, you want to click Review Public IP. Of course, I'm not going to click that while I'm filming th this right now, because of course I don't want to show you that either. 
And then uh, what you want to do is the first thing you'll want to do is, is once you have it, uh, DTXA reveals its public IP, then you'll want to go to upgrade. And as you can see, I already have the current version of 2.8.0. You'll click check for update upgrades and it'll tell you that 2.8 is the latest. And it'll upgrade you to that automatically. Whatever you do, when you're doing an upgrade, never for any reason unplug the power to it, unplug the ethernet, nothing. Do not do anything because it does take a while for it to do its upgrade, but do not do anything because you don't want to risk uh, bricking the device or ruining it from not being usable. So uh, I've actually been in that stage before and I had to uh, somehow SSH into it and then cleared out um, the files from that because the interface was not usable at all and I screwed up and that was uh, my mistake because I was impatient. So uh, that's the, the way to uh, ethernet uh, or tether your ethernet with your, your machine with Windows to the Wi-Fi Pineapple. I hope this was very informative and interesting to you and I want to thank you for viewing.